The Boy Who Cried Wolf. This story is about Sam, some sheep, ba, the villagers, and maybe a wolf. Sam lived in a little village in the mountains. Every day, he took the sheep from the village up the hill to a grassy meadow. Here we are again. He watched them from morning until evening. La 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 la. This way, Mutton Brain. Then he took them home again. Every day was the same. Same old mountains, same old trees. Sam was lonely, and he was so bored. All his friends were down in the village. He tried talking to the sheep, and how are you today? Ba, but they didn't have much to say. Nobody ever comes up here," moaned Sam. "Nothing ever happens." One day he had an idea. "I could make something happen." He ran down the hill to the village. "Help! Help! What's the matter? Come quickly! A wolf!" He shouted, "A wolf has come out of the forest." Everyone ran up the hill with him. Hurry, my sheep! Puffing and panting, ah, they reached the meadow. Of course, there was no wolf. All that way. For nothing. The sheep were quietly eating their grass. The villagers were angry, but Sam just laughed. <laughs> That was funny. No, it wasn't. A few days later, Sam was bored again. He ran down the hill to the village. Help! Help! What's the matter now? Come quickly! A wolf! He shouted. A wolf has come out of the forest. Some people didn't believe him. Oh yes. We'd better make sure. But most ran up the hill to see. Puffing and panting, they reached the meadow. Of course, there was no wolf. The sheep were quietly eating their grass. What are you grinning at? Everyone was very angry, but Sam just laughed. <laughs> A week later. Sam was bored again. He ran down the hill to the village. Help! Help! There really is a wolf. Come quickly! Most people didn't believe him this time. Just a few ran up the hill. Puffing and panting, they reached the meadow. You think you're so clever? Of course, there was no wolf. The sheep were quietly eating their grass. Now everyone was furious. Sam laughed and laughed. A few days later, a wolf did come out of the forest. Sam was terrified. He ran down to the village as fast as he could. Help! Please help! 
Nobody believed him. Do you think we're so stupid? I promise you, there is a wolf. Sam begged them to come with him. You have to help me. This time, they just laughed at him. In the end, Sam had to go back up the hill all alone. The wolf had killed some of the sheep. The rest had run away. Sam stayed in the meadow until it was dark. Finally, the villagers came to find him. Our sheep! No! I told you. Why didn't you believe me? He asked. You always told lies before, they said. I'm sorry. I've learned my lesson. Never again, said Sam. About this story, the boy who cried wolf is one of Aesop's fables. These are a collection of short stories. First told in ancient Greece around four thousand years ago, nobody knows exactly who Aesop was, but the stories are still popular today, and they are known all around the world. The stories are often about animals, and they always have a moral, a message or lesson at the end. The moral of the story about the boy who cried wolf is: No one believes liars, even when they tell the truth.